We have a potential cure for HIV. Uh, when I say potential cure, medications um, on market being used for the treatment of HIV target the viruses in the bloodstream. And this forces the viruses to go and hide in the cells and the tissues. Now we've developed an injectable that is able to smooth the viruses from the hideout into the bloodstream to be targeted by um, other medications to take care of them. It's very, very expensive at this level. Because one, um, the machines that we used to produce, the, even the injectable, it needs to be more sophisticated than what we're using now. And when it comes to clinical trials, trying to at least have a target of a thousand uh, patients, and uh, we're going to do it at about five different geographical areas, bringing together experts from all over the world to help us achieve this goal. Even for the research alone, we take over $100 million. So if, it's, if we should bring in machines and other equipment and other designs, it will be another $100 million. So about $200 million is actually towards this particular project, if you want to do it to the international standards. Uh, this is a wake-up call. If uh, we wanted to go solo, we wouldn't have launched this fund. This is an international project. So we are bringing everybody on board. At the end of the day, we say the world, the world has gotten cured for HIV. So we are appealing to all religious institutions all over the world, Ghana and everywhere, individuals, philanthropists, whoever is ready to support. The door is open for him or her to come in, especially religious institutions. Uh, this is the time. Uh, they have to show their love for people living with HIV.